Hello everyone. Uh, I'm uh, showing you card number three, which is the first slimline card. So this is the card we're going to make. This is what you have in your package. So this is a slimline, uh, an envelope that fits a slimline. It is a size nine and it's three and uh, what is that? Four, five, six, seven eighths and uh, eight and seven eighths. So this fits and uh, I purchased those uh, from my friend Kevin. Uh, he sells them uh, 25 for seven or 20 for 750. Anyway, I have to, I have to double check on that, but I think it's 20 for 750 or something like that. And it will be shipped or you pick them up. Anyway, you can go to Kevin's uh, website. I will post a link. So this is, um, let's start. This is eight and a half by seven scored at three. So let's start that. Score this here, uh, burnish it here. Then we have eight and a quarter by two and three quarters. And that's a uh, shaded spruce. So we will attach that. Actually, we will not attach that yet. We, um, no, because we have to wrap the paper around. So this is a piece of eight by two and a half and I embossed it with the snow, winter snow embossing folder. Now let me find the way that I did it. I just want to make sure I, maybe I did it this way. Did I do it? Yeah, I did it this way. So what I did is I, um, I put it in like that. Where are we here? Anyway, so I put it in, I ran it through my die cutter and the top plate I only put to here. So then I won't have this, this crease in my, so when you, when you run it through and both plates are on, then you will have an impression and you will have like a mark on the card, uh, on the card stock, you don't wanna do that. So you stop your top plate here and then when you're done, you just turn this around and line it up again like this and it, it works. And then you do this again. You just put it in, put the plate right to here, run it through and there you go. You got a long uh, embossed item. So now that can be applied. So this is, like I said, this is eight by two and a half. We're gonna it's Whisper White and the um, Winter Snow Embossing Folder is part of the uh, Snowflake Splendor Suite. It's a really nice folder. I like it. We've, you know, you know it, uh, we've used it before. So this is this one. And let's do the, the ribbon. So uh, all you need for that is, uh, it's gonna go under the tag. All you need is a glue dot on one end, a glue dot on the other end. And then we'll just put it right here. And attach that. Okay. Now, you probably wonder what I did here, how I did this. So these are... Uh, these uh, little triangles or trees or whatever we want to call them have been cut with the stitched triangle dies. There's 19 dies in this. It's, and I only actually used, uh, I think I used the one, two, and three. But for this card, I only used uh, the smallest and the next uh, one up. And that's, I used that twice. So these two are used. So what you do is you, um, you die cut your, uh, your triangles and then you emboss them. So when you emboss um, something uh, on foil, your embossing folder, I keep saying it's gonna eat my foil. So because the pressure is so strong, uh, it will, so it will actually crack your, your 
foil. So what I do is I put my die cut um, piece here that needs to be embossed and I put a piece of uh, just copy paper or whatever on, run it through, then your foil will not get damaged. I wanna show you on my, I believe here you see it. So on the red, let's see if uh, it works. So on the red, you see there is, there's some marks here and here. So especially the red paper, it doesn't like to be run through the Big Shot or through the die cutter on an embossing folder. So I've been careful and I've used, uh, uh, I've used that method uh, to um, make sure that I don't damage it. So now let's uh, attach these trees. So I, I, on my card, you see, I popped up the two green and I left the red one low. So the red one's gonna go in here and the other two are gonna go up. So I use, um, I use lots and I use a small one for the tip here. And that's how it goes. Okay, so um, I'm gonna glue this one down and you need good glue coverage. So just a snail is not gonna cover it. It's not gonna, because these uh, foils are have been uh, manipulated and uh, they wanna be, they wanna curl. So make sure you, you stick that down and you have your hand on for a little while. So it sticks to, it takes, um, the glue goes through. Then we'll do the next one here. That one goes a little up. Okay, and then for the small one, uh, you just put the two. And uh, I use uh, the little ones up here and maybe another one in the middle. Okay. So it's an easy card, it's easy to build and uh, slimline cards seem to be uh, the big hype right now. Um, you could make your own envelope or you could use a business envelope which uh, would perfectly work perfectly but I like my envelopes too be about the right size. And that is why I got the ones uh, from Kevin. So now we're gonna glue this onto our base, our card base, okay? All right, so this goes here. All right, so that's good. And now we need to do some stamping. So there is there is the one tag. Here you go, that's the way it goes. And all we need is to stamp the joy and cheer from all of us. So this is joy and cheer. And from all of us, I put it all on one, uh, on one stamp block and we'll ink it up with our ink. So the ink is shaded spruce. I just need to get my head in a bit. All right, let that take a bit. Okay, so that's good. And now what I do is um, I put uh, I put again enough dimensionals on here to make sure that this thing doesn't sag. 
and I'll put one a little off center to just hold down the ribbon again. Um, I will explain to you in a second. Okay. So this piece will stick down the ribbon. So I'm going up a little bit. I'm going up a little bit because I want my bow to go here. So center it, stick it down, and then get your glue dot and stick down the bow. And voila, you have a card. So now that what's left is the inside. For the inside, I, um, Again, I used, uh, from the tree angle, I used uh, the greetings and from all of us. Uh, no, Mary, uh, Mary greetings. I think Mary greetings, that's what it says, yeah. So, Mary greetings. And I'm going to stamp that right here. And then I will do one more thing. And it's this... Uh, this tree here and I'm gonna stamp that on here and you could use any tree you have you can make your own you can use whatever you want I just thought I would use that tree on here and then I just need a yellow So that's bumblebee and I'm just gonna put the star on top okay that's it enough of this now we glue that in I love my uh, liquid glue because it's uh, I can move the card if I am not quite straight. I can move it around. So here we go. So the inside mat is eight by two and a half. And you have a good, uh, a good frame around it. And you got lots of space to write. And there's your envelope. And there's your card. And that was the first one. Oops. That was the first one, and that's the second one. Oops. Now I realize what I forgot. So I need to take my pick tool and get some of these. So I included these um, adhesive-backed sequins in your, uh, in most of your. Um, kits then I ran out of them so I'm now using the champagne uh, rhinestones so whoever doesn't have the uh, sequins the gold sequins will have the champagne rhinestones and I'm just filling her up oops so I got two four six I got I think I put 10 on the other one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, that's it. That's card number three. Joy and cheer from all of us. Thank you for watching.